Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get this monochromatic holiday makeup look. Please keep watching. Aloe vera gel teams up as a great moisturizer slash primer underneath makeup. I'm working this into my skin with my fingertips to make sure it gets tacky before I put on foundation. A well prepped face is the secret to a flawless makeup base. I love mixing foundations and this cocktail works really well for my dehydrated skin. The LA Girl foundation has a great dewy formula without compromising on coverage. I love how it looks skin like and not cakey. I wouldn't recommend this foundation to those with oily skin as it can make you look quite like a grease ball. I'll blend out the foundation with a sponge so as to avoid streaky application. A few bounces with a sponge can totally take your makeup game to the next level. Highlighting slash concealing is a must when you're doing a bold eye look. It tends to create a bigger contrast and makes your eyes stand out a lot more. So I'm going to apply concealer to all the areas I wish to highlight. I'm going to apply it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, forehead, chin and a bit under my cheeks. I'm going to blend out my under eye areas last because letting the concealer sit for a bit increases its coverage. Spending some time blending out everything ensures that your base looks very, very skin-like and natural. So bounce, bounce, bounce! Before we set everything with powder, I'm going to apply a liquid highlighter to all the high points of my face. This is just a step to intensify the glow factor. I'll quickly blend it out with a sponge. Now that we're done with all the cream products, we can move on to setting the concealed areas with powder. Setting with powder not only improves the longevity of your makeup, but will also make the perfect canvas for applying blush, bronzer and contour. I'm going to groom my eyebrows with a precise brow pencil. A set of bold, well-groomed brows can accentuate the eye makeup really well. I'll set my brows in place with an old mascara. I'm going to quickly prime my eyes with the same concealer we used for highlighting. I'm going to blend it all out with my finger. It's important to set your primed lids with powder. I use the same face powder we used before. For this makeup look, I'm going to be using the ever so versatile Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It has a great variety of neutrals and bowls and is the perfect palette for this holiday season. I'm going to pick up a combo of two brown shadows that are slightly deeper than my skin tone. I'm using a fluffy blending brush to apply this into the crease of my eye. I'm using a very light hand while applying the shadow in order to ensure that I get an even transition from lid to brow bone. The key to a perfectly blended eyeshadow look is a good transition in the crease. I'm going to deepen up that crease with this brick shade from the palette. Since we are working with warm tones for this eyeshadow look, it's important to choose transition shades from the same colour family. Next, I'm going to pick up this mustard yellow shade from the palette to blend out the crease colour into my brow bone area. I'm picking up this shade which is a bit more red toned to deepen up the crease. I'm placing this shade under my crease and blending it out. On a dense shader brush, I'm picking up this deep reddish brown shade with slight purple undertones to define the outer and inner corners of my eyes. Shadow placement is key. Take your time with adding colour bit by bit. If you're not too careful, things can get messy real quick. We are working with dark colours here, so make sure to be patient.
Blend everything out with a clean fluffy brush. I'm picking up this beautiful warm cranberry shade on my finger and applying it to the center of my eyelids. I'm going to go back and forth with the shade Jax to get a perfect blend between all these shades on the lid. Let's blend everything out with a clean brush to marry all those colors together. We are going to mimic the same color layout on the lower lash line as well. I'm going to apply Jax with a pencil brush on the inner and outer corners of my lower lash line. I'm going to apply Firework on the center of the lower lash line. Next up, I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye and brow bone with this warm frosty pink shade. On an angular brush, I'm going to pick up this deep dark purple and line close to my waterline. It just helps smoke out the lower lash line. Looks creepy, but we gotta tight line the eyes with a rich black coal. Next up, curl the lashes for mascara. This mascara is an old love affair and provides the perfect amount of volume, length and separation. You can follow it up with a pair of false lashes if that's your jam. Else, just apply 2-3 to three coats of mascara and rock your natural lashes. I applied a pair of false lashes off camera and now I'm just dusting my entire face with MAC's Studio Fix Powder. Let's complete the rest of the face makeup starting with highlighter. I'm going to dust this Becca highlighter on all the high points of my face to give my face dimension and glow. This highlighter is quite intense and glittery and can be perfect for a bold look like this one. Now let's add some flush to the cheeks with a warm toned blush. I like to pick up a brown toned blush or a bronzer to warm up my face. I'm going to use a large powder brush to bronze up the face. Now comes the best part to seal the face beat. I'm picking up some aloe gel on a beauty sponge and I'm going to gently pat it onto my entire face. It adds the perfect glow and seals the deal. I've decided to pair this eye look with a deep burnt orange lipstick to keep it monochromatic. And that's it for this holiday inspired look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more such videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then remember. Fair isn't the only lovely.